A friend of mine invited me for his son's 18th birthday party. Well, monks don't go for parties, I thought to myself. But remembering all the love and support he had offered me over the years and all the good he had done for me, I decided to go. Just to please him and his family. They were all so happy. Not only because I had taken the time out to attend the function, but also because they knew that as a monk, I would generally not be a part of parties. The party was a private affair. Not many people were called, just family and a few friends. I saw that everyone was having a great time. But paradoxically, the birthday boy didn't look very happy. I felt that there was something playing on his mind. There was something bothering him. And since I had known him very well from his childhood, I went up to him, started a pleasant conversation, and after a while, very sensitively asked if something was wrong. He had tears in his eyes. Taking a deep breath, he replied, how just a few days ago, his best friend committed suicide. I didn't know how to react. I had lost a very dear friend of mine in a plane crash too. And I knew how it felt. Breaking the silence, he asked me, and will you not want to know why did he commit suicide? Before I could even answer in a raised voice, full of frustration and anger, he said, because he could not cope up with the academic pressures and high expectations of him. Pressure? At the age of 18? I pondered, what have we as a society done to our educational system and to our youth? In January 2018, the Times of India stated that in India, 26 suicides are reported among students every 24 hours. That means over 9,000 youngsters are killing themselves every year. The primary reason? Academic pressures, failures in exams, high expectations. And I'm not even saying that the pressures from schools, colleges, teachers, parents, peers, that bit may be there. But it's a pressure from the system. Education is meant to provide a favorable environment for our youth to identify their passion, gain knowledge and excel in life. But what it comes down to is a rat race. A race for numbers. A race for grades. A race for scores so that one can get into the best ranking top universities and then can get one of the highest paying jobs. And those who cannot handle the pressure, those who cannot bring the numbers, those who cannot win this race, well, either they have to live mediocre lives or live in depression with a very low self-esteem, thinking that they are failures. And worst, many may just end their lives by committing suicide. Didn't Albert Einstein say, that if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. It's high time that we allow our youth to be who they are and evaluate them based on their strengths, creating a confidence that they can do it and not pressure that they can't.